Hi guys. So I'm wanting to create a little book. Um, this is a little to-do list or checklist book for when we go away on holidays. So I've just written my lists out on some nice papers and laminated them. Uh, I folded the because it's A5. I've just folded it in half, so we've got little pages. And I'm going to make some cardboard covers. So I think the back I can do off camera because it's going to be the same same thing. That's the inside. So. What I've got is just a piece of cardboard to the right size. So I'm going to grab some gel medium. This is a piece of scrapbook paper from the Gorgeous Range. Just a piece of cardboard from cardboard box. Just gonna glue it down. There we go, and then I'm going to pile up my collage bits. Now this came with my original reverse craft box that I ordered. Um, as you see it's a craft box at the top. So I'm going to grab my paper trimmer. You won't be able to see this. Let's yeah. see. Here we go. So what I'm going to do is cut off the craft box logo. make new memories so that's quite nice to go on a sort of travelly book and the puppet's sort of central I think Neighbours coughing again. Here we go. Try and 
pull it so straight. Right. Now, a lot of my ephemera here is from that first craft box. Uh, let me just rearrange this to make sure I get everything that I want in. This is an actual um, tram ticket. An old one. So I can glue this one down. And then this, uh, I want to trim it a little bit, get rid of some of the excess. Distress it. Um. Burlap and anti cleaning. I'm going to start with the anti cleaning. Touch of the free burlap. Right, and now I need to find the stamps that I want to use, so I will be back in just a jiff. <clears throat> okay, it looks like it's only just going to fit on there. So, let me grab my Distress Permanent.
go with the vintage photo. Actually, we're okay. Okay, so then I just need to put my other word in. Uh, let's have a water brush. some pink. Oh, it's not red. Too wet maybe. Let's try this. No. Um, Stress marker or something like that. Do, 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 do. I've got no punctuation in the other one. No, no. we're full stop. Messy, messy, messy. Ugh. I just realised they're not water soluble, are they? These are permanents. And that is why I can't pick it up with a water brush. Never mind, that'll do. Hmm. 
So. Now we can go back to construct an L cover. Look. This is a sticker, so what I'm going to do is try and peel that back, get it to stay down like that. Oop. That'll do. And then we can pop this. Right, and I just want to grab baby wipes clean some of this muck off. There we go. <coughs> and we want this little doodad on here. That's going to splodge out, so we need the baby wipe handy. <laughs> and there we go. Just gonna give. Let's just go straight with the uh, with the pad. Give the edges. A little going over. There we go. I'm not gonna bother doing this side, and you will see why later. Um. So yeah. That is that, and I'm going to flip it over, work straight on the back. This is a piece of packaging from a gorgeous scrapbook set. And a thing I love about their products is you can use the packaging because they make it so pretty and easy to use as well. They leave you like nice big areas of pattern paper that you can cut out and things like that. So a fantastic project the other day, uh, Monique, I think it was Monique Van Dijk, um, I 
and she used the cover of her steampunk paper pad in just an amazing way. And there's all those little bits, you know how they give you a little snippet of each page? She used those. Fantastic, so I need to find a way to do that. Amazing idea. Always use the packaging where you can. Recycle, you know. Right. And I want to use this page as a pocket somehow so let's have a think about that do I want to yeah I think I just want to cut it diagonally so we'll grab this again Up that bit led to the thing I've torn it out of the little notebook. And then I need to find some double sided tape. So I'll be right back. Okay, so I have a little bit of this red tape left. I need to get me some more of this. Where's the end? I'm sure that don't wanna... Right, let's trim that. this side open so I can tuck little papers in there Right, and now I'm just going to glue this back cover together and then we'll make a start on the next step. Okay, so we're going to try buying these pages. Hmm. I would probably use PVA if this was paper, but because the pages are laminated, I'm not going to. So I'm going to pop my cover on, 
try and get everything nice and straight. I bought from the hardware store. Hardware shop. And I'm gonna open them up. I usually like to sew my signatures, but sometimes it's not possible. Like my index card journal, I'm not going to be able to sew that because they're just single index cards. So this, I'm actually kind of testing out the method for gluing both together so let's keep those nice and straight then you might want to put something in there to protect your cover but I think we'll be okay oops it's tight there we go Just keep sliding. Yeah, I think that's the best we're going to get it. <laughs> so I'm going to use the gel medium, I think, for this. And I'm going to spread it on.
leave that to dry and come back with the next step. Click, 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 click. Oh, sorry, my desk is a bit of a mess. I've got 20 minutes for an little for work. <laughs> Hopefully, that should be just enough time to quickly finish my book. As you can see, there, I don't know if you can see it. There are marks where the clamps were, so I would advise putting something like a little piece of foam or something under there to stop that. And now I'm going to take another big dollop. You can see that nicely glued now. Take another big dollop of gel medium. I'll go down the spine again. Now I have this. <coughs> excuse me. A fabric that's got a sticky back. Um, I believe this was from Aldi's, and you get four rolls. Two are fabric, and then two are like a to plastic sort of thing. And I'm going to peel it that way. And I'm going to try and get it sort of in the middle. Yeah. And then peel it the rest of the way. And I did cut it a bit longer, so I'll trim that off when everything's dry. Is that even? That's fairly even. Okay, now we're going to put a bit more gel medium down here. I just want to make sure that it sticks properly, you know. I'm not sure about how good the adhesive is on this fabric strip so uh, I made a mess so let's grab baby wipe Fold it down. I think I have stuck it a little bit. Thank you. Can we peel it back up? Let's try and get it. So, yeah, that gel, extra gel medium down there is also going to just make doubly sure that those pages are nice and stuck. There. <laughs> there we 
go. some pictures at the end so you can see what it looks like when it's all dry but it's not much different to that to be honest so there we go that is pretty happy with that nice little book with my to-do lists for when we're going on holidays and I'll be able to use a whiteboard pen or something like that just to tick it off I can wipe it off when I need to. So I hope you enjoyed that. Um, I can't get the lid back on this gel medium. <laughs> and hopefully I will see you again soon. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.